In the battle for public opinion, one counter-attack came from a man in the pest control industry. Bob Loibel announced that he and his wife Louise would eat DDT daily for three months. Why? When the word DDT was mentioned in some of the national news programs, immediately behind the uh, uh, commentator was the skull and crossbones. Now that would indicate to the public in an indirect way that DDT was a poison, a deadly poison perhaps. So we had to uh, offset this. Each capsule contained a measured dose of DDT. And each day that dose was consumed before a witness who signed their daily log. But before their demonstration started, they had difficulty in getting help. Well, we even called uh, our company public relations man, our advertising agency. And uh, at this meeting, they both threw up their hands and said, look, we want no part, absolutely no part in, in, in your possible death. Our fr first uh, press conference, we had all kinds of goodies spread out, you know, the little buffet, and none of the newsmen would touch anything because they thought we had, you know, laced it with DDT. <laughs> they took their DDT with no apparent harm, and for 90 little capsules apiece, they got a book full of press cuttings. Louise was delighted by the result. It was fantastic. 